ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We are sent to heal the contrited heart. Lord, have mercy. We came to call sinners Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Let us pray. Grant that your people, we pray, Almighty God, may be ever watchful for the coming of your only begotten Son, that as the author of our salvation himself has taught us, we may hasten, alert, and with lighted lamps to meet him when he comes, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Read from the book from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I, the Lord your God, teach you what is for your good and lead you on the way you should go. If you would hearken to my commandments, your prosperity would be like a river and your vindication like the waves of the sea. Your descendants will be like the sand and those born of your stock like its grains. Their name never cut off or blotted out from my presence. The word of the Lord. The sponsor of those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of light. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Bless the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent but delights in the law of the land and meditates on its law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He's like a tree planted near a running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like the chaff that the, with the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. said to the crowds, To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in marketplaces and call to one another. We played a flute, a flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Look, he's a glutton and a drunkard friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her works. The Gospel of the Lord. I don't know if you've ever been at um, a party before, and people are wanting you to jump into the dance floor because 
there's a song that everyone is supposed to dance to. But maybe you're just not in the mood for dancing right now. And you have that push to say, we're playing this song, you need to go in there. The electric slide or the cha-cha slide. Now, those are great songs, but, but the whole point being, um, in this gospel today, there is Jesus speaking about this generation, saying that you're like, you're like a dance party in which they're playing a particular song and they're mad that you're not dancing along to their song. Now, when the song is good, well, then that's great. But when it's a song that is the song of the world versus the song of Christ, then that's not great. And when we start living our lives for Christ, there is this pressure of the world that says, hey, you're not conforming to the system. You're not dancing along in the way that everybody else is dancing, so get off the dance floor. We can feel this pressure if you've ever had that experience of living out your faith in a public way. And it doesn't necessarily mean in a mean way. It doesn't mean going over to someone and punching someone because they don't believe in God. But when we live our life and say, yes, God exists. Jesus Christ is Lord of the universe. And he is Lord over every single earthly power. And I bow down to him before anyone else. Sometimes we get that experience of saying, you're not allowed to do that. And yet the Lord says, wisdom is vindicated by her works. And what that means is, look to Jesus Christ, look what he's done, and he will bring that peace. The world will not bring that peace, but the Lord will bring that peace. And he wants to give us roots. Responsorial psalm is about these two ways, these two dances, in a sense. There's the song of the Lord that he sings, and it's the song that our heart was made for. And when we follow that song, when we don't follow the way, the counsel of the wicked, the company of the insolent, the way of sinners, but when we delight in the law of the Lord, when we meditate on this law day and night, in other words, when we're singing in that song that was given to us, then we will be like a tree planted by running water, so the water is not stagnant, it's fresh, it's full of life, and that tree will yield its fruit in due season. We see this tree later on in the book of Revelation actually being the tree of life that has fruit that never, ever fades. There are no seasons in which there isn't fruit. It's always there. Now, if we follow the other song, the song that the world presents to us, saying, this is how to dance. This is what fame looks like. This is what power looks like. This is what joy looks like, in a worldly sense. Well, then, as we start dancing that one, and we might have the whole crowd celebrating and saying, yes, you're dancing along. But we become like chaff. Chaff is, if you think about the, when the harvest happens, you can see it with the grain and the corn, but it's when they take like a sift, and what they do is they kind of throw it up in the air. You've seen farmers in older times, like now we have more mechanized things, but they would take kind of a, a, a um, sort of something like this that had holes in it, and they would just shake it up and down. Because the things that were heavy, the actual corn, the actual grain, would go up and down, and that would be left over. But the chaff would be kind of the dust. It would be just like the husks that are just light and airy. And so when you go like that in a Midwestern wind time, 
what's going to happen? All of that stuff that has no roots, that's not good for anything, it's just going to float away and disappear. And the Lord says, that's what it's like when we follow the song of the world. We're just going to disappear. We're just going to become shallow. There, there's a very famous poet who actually converted to Catholicism named T.S. Eliot. T.S. Eliot had this poem called The Hollow Men. It's a very interesting poem because it talks about our modern age and how we've kind of hollowed out. We might look great, we might look connected, we might look powerful, and yet we're probably some of the shallowest of all time. We don't know how to deep think. We don't know how to be in relationship with others. We are connected, and yet we are so disconnected. And you see that with every generation that goes by, it gets harder and harder to live out basic humanity. We become hollow, we become airy, we become rootless. And that's why we need Christ. Christ is the one that can break into the shallowness of this world and give us roots. He can give us the weight of glory so that when we are sifted, we don't just float away with the air, but that we become the fruit of the harvest. So that's really the call today, and it's the call of Christianity. There are two ways. There's one that brings a weight of glory, but it involves the cross, it involves dying to the shallow part of our life so that we can truly live. Or we can choose to go the way of chaff and sing along with the world. And we might have a grand old time, and yet we're having a grand old time floating away into nothingness. The cross leading to true substance or the song of the world, the grand old time that leads away to emptiness. What is our choice? And now let us stand and bring our petitions before the Lord. Pray for leaders in the church. May they be guided by God's wisdom in all they do. Let us pray to the Lord. For local, national, and world leaders, may God give them the grace to move away from any hypocrisy and be guided instead by truth. Let us pray to the Lord. For those traveling the long road of grief, may they know Christ's presence and rest in the confidence that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this community of faith, may we be empowered by the Holy Spirit in living our unique call to holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who have died in the light of faith, may they rest in the presence of God. We especially pray for their close the soul of Michael Spindler, for whom I've been asked to offer this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Pray for the intention of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray that our personal relationship with Jesus Christ be nourished by the Word of God and the life of prayer. We pray also for all the intentions that have been given to us through, um, through the various means of communication, those that have been placed in our intercessory prayer box. We lift them up to the Lord through our Blessed Mother's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Trusting in your goodness and loving care, we lift these prayers to you, Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue, with the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. supper was ended. He took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have called us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and Peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our mortal bodies to conform with his glorified body.
replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment. We humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth, and hold firm to the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection Lord your help or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly to you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother, the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. 